Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the British Accounting and Finance Association's gala dinner. Um, my name is Daniel Tischer, and I will be uh, walking you through the evening. Uh, you don't know what I'm going to say yet. Right. Um, listen, I, I'm, going to keep, I'm going to keep this very short. Thank you all very much for coming to the uh, dinner tonight. I hope you enjoy yourselves. We have, uh, uh, we've got some entertainment, we've got some good food, we've got some awards that we're going to give out, and hopefully we'll hear some stories about the award winners, right, and what they've been up to during the course of their careers. Uh, the, the only thing that I really want to say at this point is, um, to kind of start on the basis that tonight is about giving thanks. We're going to thank the people who've given so much to our community, and I want to thank three people in particular tonight. There'll be other opportunities to thank others over the course of the rest of the conference, but organizing a conference on this kind of scale, this level of detail, could not have been possible without Helen Curtis, who I'm not sure if she's in the room, but you will have all met Helen at some point over the last day or so. She's an absolute star. Thank you so much, Helen, for everything that you've done. Helen's been ably assisted by Emily. Right? The two of them have been absolutely brilliant, uh, working away at the conference over the, over the course of the last number of months. And then within the Accounting and Financial Management subject group, right? Olga Cam uh, has been an absolute star as well, organizing a whole range, a whole range of things. Thank you, Olga. Right. So with those thanks out of the way, I will uh, get out of the way, ask um, Daniel to come back, and we can start to get on with the, uh, with the awards. Enjoy the rest of the evening. All right. Um, our first set of um, awards and recognitions will be introduced by Joan Ballantyne and by Kevin McMeekin. Uh, could I ask you to come up? and then we shall go underway. Um, these are the Doctoral Masterclass Awards, and I believe there will be four winners on this particular one. So I'm just gonna go in the back, and up to you. Okay, okay good evening, Sheffield. <laughs> okay, so, um, it's great pleasure that Joan and I, we um, uh, organize and help run the doctoral master classes with considerable help. Um, thanks to Stuart and others for their participation. But we have two award winners. Uh, we have a prize for the best paper in accounting and the best paper in finance. Okay, thank you, um, Kevin. Just to let you all know, the prize consists of, of a certificate, an engraved glass trophy. Isn't that wonderful? A cash prize of £250 to spend as you will. Two years of free European Accounting Association membership. And the big prize really is attendance at the next EAA PhD forum together with reduction on the EAA Congress fee. So it is actually quite a prestigious prize. And uh, just to let you know that the prize, um, how it comes about is that students self-nominate. So everybody's in with an equal chance, as it were. Okay, so I would like to uh, nominate or to award the Finance Prize and it goes to Kareem Gaber Mohammed Mahran, uh, who... Who, who is doing some interesting work which looks at the CEO characteristics uh, on ESG performance and reporting. Okay, and the, the, the winner of the best paper from accounting goes to Claude Hegarty. We're now having the second round of awards, which is the best conference paper award and the best early career researchers paper award. And I would like to 
call up on the stage Jia, Jia Lu and Michelle Stark, who are presenting this particular award. We now have the pleasure to uh, announce the winners of the two best conference papers, one for the early career research uh, conference paper and one for the uh, annual conference the best paper award. Um, the, as usual, we have received very many um, excellent manuscripts and uh, in total um, about 300 uh, papers. And um, it's also give us hard time and be difficult to select the, uh, the best papers. Um, but on, uh, however, uh, the, uh, the paper were judged by the, uh, oh, the, the reward panel and um, aligned with the uh, British County Review, uh, the, uh, the journal criteria and also take into account that the buffer is a, a, a platform, uh, providing platform for work that, for work that has um, not, been, uh, uh, not yet been submitted uh, to journal, as well as the, uh, uh, the, the paper has not yet, uh, not targeting the bar as the publication outlet. So on that the base, the winning uh, ECR paper is Yeah. Oh, conference paper first. All right, conference paper first. Ladies and gents, it's apologies. It's me, right? Yeah. Excellent. Right. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. bear with me, just checking. <laughs> We're sorted now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to announce the best conference paper award. Yeah. <laughs> and as a management accountant um, and a management accounting scholar, it gives me great pleasure to do this. It is advancing management accounting practice focus on the challenges in reporting the Sustainable Development Goals by Matteo Molinari. Now I have the pleasure to announce the winning ESR paper is Articulating sustainability reporting and management control bring to light attentions in interplay by Lucas Bocard from University of Paris. Well, we almost had our first Oscar moment, um, a bit of La La Land confusion going on there. Um, the final award before the starters, as scheduled, um, will be dis the Distinguished Contributions Award. And I would like to um, ask Lisa Jack to come on stage. There she is. Uh, she will be speaking very briefly and introduce the winner and then we will have a short speech from the Distinguished Award winner. Thank you. I'm very pleased to be asked to give this award. We instigated the Distinguished Contribution Awards about six years ago to recognize those who've made a contribution, not just to BAFA, but to the profession and to the accounting discipline. And it's my very great pleasure to make this award to Mark Prothero. Mark, oh! <laughs> so, <laughs> I hadn't finished yet. <laughs> Mark's distinction, for those of you that may not have met him, and I'm surprised if nobody has met him or heard of him, is because through his work with both the ACCA and the ICAEW in learning and development, 
which rather belies the fact that towards the end of his career, I, I noticed he was either executive or executive officer or head of operations. In other words, Mark has been one of the people, if not the person, who is the expert on setting professional qualifications, on developing those qualifications and making initiatives, in fact, innovating the way that professional exams are taken. And that affects also the way we teach and it affects our students. I think it would be fair to say that Mark has had an influence in some direction on virtually everybody in the room and in the accounting profession. And we have a lot to thank him for. I'm not going to go through his past history because I don't have time, but I'm going to say that one of the reasons he has this expertise is because he listens to people. And I know he listens to people because back in the 1990s, someone wrote him a letter giving some politely, carefully worded criticism of the ACCA system. And that's how I got invited to go to, to, go to a meeting at the ACCA about the qualifications there, and that's when I first met Mark. I then met him again some years later at the Accounting Education SIG, and he's been contributing to BAFA in that way for many, many years, in gently informing and influencing how we think about accounting education. And then more recently, he became a non-executive director of BAFA, and then uh, towards the end of his non-executorship, he was chair of trustees. He was chair of trustees when I was president. And I have to say, he was invaluable because, again, he listened. And he was there with a lot of wisdom. We had a couple of difficult times. We had to really think about the constitutional basis of BAFA. And really coming to the realization, which we knew, but came home, that BAFA isn't just there for the members, but we are a charity, and the trustees actually have legal obligations. We have a, quite a responsibility, not just for the money we have, but the way we act and the governance of the organization. And realizing, of course, with the British Accounting and Finance Association, if we can't do corporate governance, who can? Um, so it was quite a challenge. So three minutes isn't enough to give justice to the contribution that Mark has made to our discipline. But I would like you to all join me and congratulate Mark on receiving the Distinguished Contribution Award. Indonesia about 10 years ago, and I was one of my meetings was with five council members of the local auditing body. And they welcomed me very courteously and then said, would you like to come through and uh, meet our members? They're very much looking forward to your talk. No one had mentioned a talk. No one had mentioned a talk here either. So I walked through and there were 500 members there and the Minister of Finance for Indonesia. And I was asked to give a talk, the keynote address. Um, Fortunately, they sang the Indonesian national anthem. For those of you who don't know it, it goes on quite a long time. <laughs> and then the minister gave a talk for 10 minutes, which allowed me to cobble together in my head a 20-minute talk, uh, which I gave. And the gist of that is something I still passionately believe in. Uh, what I said was that for an accountancy profession to thrive anywhere in the world, employers had to work in partnership with professional bodies, and they had to work in partnership with academics. I still believe that's true, which is why I'd have great pleasure and I'm honored to receive this award. Thank you very much.